Let me ask you about uh, this ruling and no masks now for flying. It certainly caused a lot of controversy. People seem split right down the middle. What's your take? Yeah, I think it's very necessary because cases are on the way up and cases are actually under tested. Well, wastewater is definitely showing cases are, are rising. Hospitalization are rising in the U.S. for eight straight days. Um, and I think worse is, you know, the less we control the variant, the more it will breed more variants. And now we have actually another BA2 daughter variant that's also f further surging. Like this treadmill, like you can try to put your head in the sand to pretend that COVID is over, but we just look across the pond what's happening to England. Their BA2 wave is completely overloaded the healthcare system. Their hospital emergency room waits are now 12 hours or longer, and their deaths are climbing. And altogether, that kind of disruption, both public health and economic, is not what we want. So yes, it sounds and feels convenient to take off our masks, but we're only shooting ourselves in the foot in the long run. The argument, though, uh, doctor, for the people who don't want to wear masks anymore is, hey, if you want to wear a mask and you want to protect yourself with an N95 on an airplane, go right ahead. But that doesn't mean I have to. Uh, I'm playing devil's advocate here, but I want to get your response to people who, who say that. Like, you have a choice to wear a mask, go ahead. I have a choice to not wear a mask. I don't have to. Well, it's first of all, that not everyone wears an N95 mask and not everyone wears it well. Um, some people still rely on flimsy cloth or surgical masks, which is not good protection whatsoever. And two-way masking, both the uh, receiver as well as the exhaler max masking provides way more protection uh, than just a, a single one-way masking. And furthermore, we have also uh, lots of transmission on airplanes that's already been proven. And children oftentimes aren't really good at wearing masks. And so it's incumbent on us adults to protect them. And I think everyone, uh, even if you feel healthy, you probably have someone who's vulnerable at home or in your neighborhood that you do not want to endanger. So this is a public health is about empathy about empathy to care for your fellow person, human being next to you and in your community. And unfortunately, the selfishness of no, not wearing masks will actually endanger much more, many more people who, again, are not boosted or fully vaccinated, and especially children who are very vulnerable. Dr. Fagelding, this virus isn't going anywhere, though, um, and it could be mutating. Different iterations could be coming down the pike. Are, are you saying mask mandates should be in place in perpetuity? I think they should definitely be in place while we're seeing all the bad sides of a surge. And I think someday, if we have other measures in place, such as we have much broader coverage of vaccines uh, and boosters and children getting all their shots, because millions of children are still not uh, boosted and not having any vaccines at all under five. Mm. And I think uh, also that if we have ventilation systems, and air disinfection, HEPA filters, uh, UV, and um, ventilation standards, disinfection standards in all our buildings, I think then we can get to a place where, you know what, you know, we do not need masks as anymore, especially if cases are down and low, and we have all these other multiple layers of protection in place. But we don't. And many people, millions of people are still vulnerable, and we're in the middle of another surge. And we just have to look at what's happening to England right now. That is a future we want to avoid, and that takes action right now. Dr. Eric Fagelding, epidemiologist and co-founder of the World Health Network. Really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. Stay safe.